the dream of a 22-year-old girl living with a physical disability to have a customized toilet facility convenient to her condition has materialized after GBC News aired her story about, the plead, about her pleading for assistance. A flam a front plains development organization, ABDO, in partnership with Global Communities, a WASH non-governmental organization, intervened and constructed a decent household latrine with a hand-washing facility for Rashida Aminu Timtoni. Rashida said the dreadful moment she went through in accessing the unhygienic public toilets with her bare hands are over. She says her dignity is now restored. It's a basic human function, but for some, attending nature's call is an ordeal. Access to convenient and comfortable public toilet facilities remain a significant challenge for many people in Ghana, especially those living with various forms of physical disability. Such persons struggle on a daily basis to purge themselves of waste in an unfriendly and unhygienic manner. The situation mostly affects their social, economic, and independent life. Rashida Amin Tim Tony, who narrated her ordeal, said she felt bad having to crawl through the bush and mud to get to a public place of convenience. In most cases, she ended up touching dirty water, urine, and traces of fecal matter. She felt very uncomfortable with the situation. It was very bad because sometimes you go and the place is not clean, and you, you know, when I'm crawling, my hands. So it was very challenging for me, and I wish one day that I should have my own, so that I wouldn't bother anyone to pour my feces or my debt away, or even insult me for um, carrying my debt away. So I was, I'm very happy. A front place development organization, Abdo, and global communities came to the rescue by providing Rashida with a special toilet facility and a hand washing device. She says her most dreadful moments are over. Rashida's grandmother, Aisha to Abu Bakari, was full of praise for the two entities and GTV for amplifying Rashida's plea for assistance. The program's director of a front place development organization organization, Bieta Arempoka Akanyine, said they had been touched by the story of Rashida and had to move in quickly to help. They combined two latrine technologies to build the most convenient toilet for Rashida. In September, the story of Rashida, the disabled senior high school student, was aired by GBC. So we wanted to, we were touched by the story and the fact that she doesn't have access to um, a place of convenience that's too difficult. The latrine that we provided for um, Rashida is the circular block lining and the dignity loose lap with a sitter because of the condition of the young lady. I feel excited and I'm glad and happy that at long last one of my wishes has come through. I'm very excited. A hand washing facility was also provided to prevent possible contamination and infection. So far, Abdo has constructed over 60 circular lining model latrines in Sagnarigu, Nanton, Gushegu, and Karaga district of the northern region, with over 120 persons trained in latrine artisanship. Dominic Dapa is the program's coordinator for global communities in the northern zone. I want to thank uh, GTV for bringing out the story. We have several of some of these cases in the communities, but uh, if you don't get to know about it, you will not be able to intervene and provide the support. The team educated their family on how to keep the toilet clean at all times to prevent contamination. Lack of accessible wash facilities denies people living with disabilities their basic human rights. Disability-friendly toilet facilities would decrease the dependency problem for those with disabilities. In addition, access to toilets and information for people with disability is a prerequisite to achieving the Sustainable Development Goal 10. From Maushegu in the Saganarigu municipality of the Northern Region, Choice Kantam Kolamon, GBC News.